All right, I'm going to teach you how to be a healthy bitch. So when you go shopping, ignore everything around you. I just went to Lidl. Now, the thing is, when you walk into Lidl, Lidl have what's called strategic planning operations. When you, well, when you read their thing. And that's where you walk in and what you see is what they want you to grab first. So when you walk in, you have the left, which is the fruit and veg offers. You'd be like, oranges, 90p, now down to 20p. Strawberries, £1.40, what, now 70 They have like these, all these are like amazing deals. But then when you walk a little bit further, there's the bakery splattered all. It depends which ones you're going to. The new ones, the bakery's in your face. You walk in, there's a cross on here. The older ones, the bakery's on the right and the offers are on the left bit. Either way, you have to walk past the bakery. And when you walk past the bakery, all you can smell is mm, the cookies, the chocolate croissants, the pan of chocolate. You can just smell the nice things that you want to get. Now, the thing is, I used to eat a couple at a time. I'd be like, oh, let me get a croissant, a chocolate brownie, a pan of chocolate. Now, when I started counting calories, fat and everything, do you know how much in them three treats is almost 500 calories, 1,500 calories? That is almost your daily, like your daily limit, or if not two thirds or three quarters of your daily limit gone in a flash just for three treats that don't even fill you up. They're snacks. You eat them, then you think, mm, what's for lunch? So yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to be a healthy bitch. What you do is you go and you get healthy stuff. You get wild rocket. Tastes beautiful. You go and get yourself some Greek yogurt, but you don't get the full fat yogurt. You get the low fat yogurt. Actually, it, it tastes kind of weird, you know? <laughs> if you ever tried the low fat, it tastes a bit acidy, but when you put some honey and some stuff with it, it's actually nice. But yeah, when they take, I don't know why taking fat out of stuff, it turns it into vinegar, but yeah. Then you get the fat free cottage, I was about to call it cottage onion, cottage cheese, onion and chive. They also do a pineapple one, but that one's much higher in sugar. But this one's actually quite low in sugar. And also, you go for the reduced one because it goes off on the 19th of July. Today's the 15th. I'll have eaten this pot in that time easily. I don't know what it is. A lot of people bitch and moan about cottage cheese, but cottage cheese is the one. If you want a, a high-protein snack with like almost no fat, no sugars, no nothing, cottage cheese. I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know if it's made in a cottage, and that's why it becomes cottage cheese. But yeah, it's beautiful. And then the peace day resistance. If you're a vegan, look away. If you're a meat lover, oh, chicken drummies. A lovely chicken drummies. And that all came to a grand total of £3.46. Now, that will sort me. The, the yogurt doesn't go with the chicken. That's, that's for breakfast. But that will sort me for a couple of days. And that was £3.56. Now, the pastries, if I'd bought them three pastries, it would have cost me £1.80, which obviously is basically half of what I spent. And it would have filled me up for a snack. So if you want to be the healthy bitch and be good, because look at my jawline. Any of you know me, know that when I first started recording, I was like that. I had a big jaw. Now look. You can almost see a jawline coming back because I've cut down on calories. I've cut, I've started eating low fat stuff, lower salt stuff, lower sugar stuff. And I've started to actually focus on my diet. So yeah, if you want to be a healthy bitch, you want to be a Jad's fitness healthy bitch, shop healthy.